So I'd love to talk to you guys about the power of praise. So I just want you guys to know that there's actual power in your praise. So we come here week in and week out to this church. Do we not? We do. We come here all the time. Okay, so this is what we do. We praise. We worship. We pray. It's just what we do. We're called to it. It's we're used, we're used to it. It just kind of comes natural to us because we've just kind of caught the culture of the ministry. And it is an opportunity that we get to do this every week. A lot of us are interns in the room, high school interns. A lot of us are staff, residents, and a lot of us just serve at a large capacity at this church. And so we get the opportunity to praise corporately together and individually. And so it's amazing. But I do want to remind us that because we do it so much, it can become routine. It can become, okay, we're just like going through the motions. Um, so like you hear a worship song and you're just like, all right, time to put my hands up. Like as soon as that one part of the song goes up, now my hands need to go out like this. Like, we have our, our, our little things we do. And that's all good. That's not bad. Routine is not bad. And consistency is not bad. We want to be modeling that for, for new believers, too, so that they can know what, what praise and worship looks like. But we have to remember what the core value of, or the core value is of our praise and why we do it. And so I just want to put that out in front of us. I just want to remind us that there's power in our praise. So specifically today, I want to talk to you about how our praise can actually open doors in our life. So I don't know what doors you might need open in your life right now. I know for you, Bernie, you were thinking about what you wanted to do. And so it looks like God has opened a door for you. So there's, there's times in our lives when we need open doors. I don't know if you're, you're going to college and you need God to open a door for, for college. Or maybe you need a job opportunity or a new opportunity to open for you. Or maybe these students that are coming in, maybe that they've got walls up on their heart. And we're hoping that God can open that door to their heart so that they can receive the word of God. So I don't know what the doors in your life look like that you need opened. And they can seem impossible for them to open. But I want to remind you that how we can get those opened is through our praise. There's power in our praise to open those impossible doors. And the power of praise is displayed for us in the Bible. So there's an actual story in the Bible that can help us understand this principle. So in Acts chapter 16, Paul and Silas, um, they were thrown into prison. So they were preaching, teaching, doing the miracles. And this always happens to, to the disciples in, in, in the Old Testament, in the New Testament. They're always getting persecuted. And so, of course, they get thrown into prison for, for doing the right thing. So they could be upset. They could be complaining. They could be doubting. But they knew the power of praise. So instead of complaining, they praised. And because they praised, the prison doors opened. And so in Acts chapter 16, verse 25, it says this. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises to God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prisons were shaken. And immediately, can you guys say immediately? Immediately, guys, all the doors were open and everyone's bands were loosed. So what they do? Simple. They praised. They were in an impossible scenario. Those doors weren't going to unlock, and the people in that prison weren't going to unlock them. But it was their praise that activated God's miracle power to open the impossible doors. And I just want to remind us today that our praise can do the exact same thing. The exact same thing. And so when we're in here and we're praying, and yes, we want to model worship. Yes, we're going through our routine, but just remember that there's power in what we're doing here. And so I just wanted to remind us of that today. And so with that said, um, we're going to go ahead into a time of prayer real quick.